the name of God, the compassionate, the most merciful. All praise belong to God, the Lord of the world. And my deepest and most sincere salutations due to all prophets, messengers, and righteous people from the beginning of the creation up until today. In particular, may the mercy and the blessing of God be upon Muhammad and his pure progeny. Sallu ala Muhammad wa I try to speak up as much as I can, but unfortunately I'm not used to shouting. And still they say I'm a security risk. <laughs> My colleagues, sheikhs, reverends, all brothers and sisters, Salaamu Alaikum and good afternoon to everybody. It's very hard to express my heart here today. First and foremost, my deepest gratitude, my most sincere thanks are due to the Almighty God who used me as an excuse to bring the wider community together. As a bridge builder for the last 16 years that his motivation, his sole objective has been always to reconcile, to heal, to bring the community members, family members together, bringing the Muslim and the non-Muslim community together. Thank you very much, God. A big thank from all of us that Sheikh Mansour, even the deportation of Sheikh Mansour was an excuse to bring priests, sheikhs, Muslims, non-Muslims, men, women, young, old, all of us as human beings bringing us together. And my second thanks are due to all of you. Journalists were asking me about my family and the ramification of my possible deportation on my family. I want to tell them, this is my family. My family. My family does not consist of my wife and my four children only. All my, all, every member of my community is my family. Those who know me closely, they know that since the establishment of Imam Hussein Islamic Center in Elwood, I tried my very best to put all my eggs in the one basket and put it in the community center for the service of the community. I'm standing here. And I try to stand towards the Qibla and I bear witness, Ya Allah, to the best of my knowledge. I said it to my family, I've said it to individuals, and I'd like to say it in front of the cameras and all of you today. I have never come across a community so loyal, so supportive, and so good as you. And I'm not ashamed to make this declaration. From the bottom of my heart, I don't deserve this. I don't deserve people and I feel embarrassed and humbled to see that the community members, they have to take a day leave from their work, driving all the way from Sydney, from Melbourne. I was told even a family flew from Perth all the way here. Thank you very much to all of you for your support. Should the Sheikh be embarrassed? No. no! How many days in his life has he given to Allah? Every How many days has he given to us? Every single day to Allah, every single day to us. Then the next time he apologizes, shout him down. <laughs> All right. I also want to expand and extend my, my gratitude to the friends who could not make it for different reasons today. I've received so many SMSs on the way to Canberra today and the day before. People that could not make it because of illness and other reasons. At the same time, I thank all of them and I have no doubt as they expressed it themselves that their hearts and their prayers are with us. Thank you to all of them as well. Thank you to all international justice advocates that without hesitation, they supported the cause of justice. Thank you to all of them. On behalf of my community, the Muslim community, 
we humbly thank all our brothers from the Anglican, Catholic, and other denominations, or no denominations, everyone who on the principle of human justice made an effort to come and cared about it. Thank you to all of you. Now, I learned from Father Dave to turn on and talk to Kevin Rod. I don't know if he's in the air that he can hear my voice, but the message that I have for the Honorable Prime Minister of Australia, the message that I have for Senator Evans, the Minister for Immigration and Citizenship, and the, men, the, the message that I have for the Parliament and the, for, for the Cabinet of the Prime Minister, all what we are asking is be a good Australian. All what these people are asking is to give them a fair go. If procedure of fairness does not apply to Sheikh Mansour because he happens to be guilty of not being the citizen of Australia and not permanent resident of Australia, therefore he does not deserve procedure of fairness. Mr. Rod, this is your community. Mr. Rod, these are all Australians. care about them. I have a message for you, Mr. Rod. Pay heed to them. This is your community and my community. I want to second what Father Dave suggested. It's about the time to put our hands together and work together to advance Australia Fair, but in practice. Allow me to clarify one misconception as well, that very often I heard it and read it in the media. And I hope my message gets across to Australians. The misconception was this, that well, if he was not done by the federal court, and if he had his trials, and he failed, then he must pack up and leave. Let me clarify this misconception. Never, never ever was I told even the bare bone of the allegations against me. Never, ever, I was given an opportunity to approve, to prove my, my innocence or to address any possible allegations. All what happened for the last 15, 14 years or so in the courts of Australia, from federal court, full federal court, high court, all was about the point of law that the legal team of Sheikh Mansour, they were trying to challenge the act that says procedure of fairness in the country of a fair go does not apply to a non-citizen and a non-permanent of Australia. Based on that act, ASIO had no obligation to even brief us about possible allegations. Therefore, in reality, there was never a trial. Bishop Tutu was right. Let the world know that if Sheikh Mansour is deported from Australia, he is deported before trial. And I have a message for the respected journalists around. On the 17th of May, that Senator Evans made a media release and informed the world shamefully that he does not want to intervene and he defied the United Nations interim measure request. My dear brother, Dr. Ben Sol, who voluntarily came into this case and has been really, as Father Dave mentioned, a warrior, made a legal presentation in Sydney University in front of all the media on the press conference that we had. Unfortunately, I must say here to my journalists around, none of the TV channels, despite the presence of almost all of them, they, 
they even briefed the, the Australians about the legality, about the fact that Australia has defied United Nations order. I hope today they deliver the message to the wider community. I hope our message will not be censored. I hope and I believe Australians deserve to know the truth. Thank you very much and may God bless you all.